Would anyone like some refreshments? We have several fine beverages available. No, thank you. I'm fine. All right. Off to a good start. Master Satil, thank you for coming. Of course. The Revanite ships have all been scattered, captured, or destroyed. Their accomplices aboard our vessels are in chains. You found a threat and given us the means to root it out. Separately, what do we have to discuss? Revan is still alive, my lord, and his plans don't stop here. The Emperor's not dead. Revan thinks he can fix that, but he's wrong, isn't he? No one person, not even Revan can truly destroy the Emperor. I struck the Emperor down myself. I saw him die. You destroyed his body, even wounded his spirit perhaps more than anyone before you. But that was not enough. The Emperor's current state is nebulous, incorporeal. To strike at him, Revan will first have to return him to a physical form. Which is exactly what the Emperor wants. He will destroy Revan, then move on to the rest of us. In time, he will consume all life in the galaxy. You knew that was his goal, and still followed him. I only learned of his true plans recently, and I am no more interested in being fuel for his insanity than you are. We have to stop this. Intercept Revan before he can restore the Emperor's form. The Emperor's hideaway is a secret, even to the Dark Council. The fourth moon of Yavin. That's where we'll find Revan. He wanted me to join him there. Never said I couldn't bring a few friends. According to our data, he still has extensive forces at his disposal. We would stand a better chance of overcoming them together. No matter what evidence I present, I doubt the Supreme Chancellor will agree to any kind of alliance or truce. Neither will the Dark Council, but my ships and the soldiers aboard them are loyal to me. I can convince my troops to maintain a truce. They've seen Revan's threat firsthand. Then we meet on Yavin 4. Agreed. Theron. We can talk on the way to Yavin. I have some business to finish here. Thank you for your help. All of you. This can't have been easy. The conspiracy is finally exposed. We've been hiding our actions from our allies for so long, it's a relief to have everything in the open. So we can talk about how you threw me to the wolves now? I made a calculated strategic decision, and it worked, as we can all see now. And if you had talked to me about it, I would have volunteered, but you didn't even give me a choice. We couldn't risk the Revanites knowing that your capture was a ploy. You had to be in the dark for the plan to work. If the Revanites knew your capture was staged, they would have killed you, and we wouldn't have learned Revan's plan. Hiding the truth was probably the best option. We've got exactly one professional spy in this group. I could have handled it. I think it's time we moved on. Yavin is a long way from here. Agreed. Let's get moving. Lana, stay a moment. We should talk. Of course. Enjoy your trip to Yavin! This is quite a mess I've made, isn't it? The wicked Sith can't be trusted. Just the sentiment we need right now. There's too much at stake to worry about people's feelings. You got us the information we need to stop Revan. That's all that matters. I'm glad you agree. The moments we've shared, the connection between us, it's very important to me. I would never want to lose your trust. My strength flows from the passions I embrace, my service to the Empire, and you. You're very important to me, Lana. Our time together has meant a lot. But that won't matter in the long run, will it? This truce won't last forever. Even if we succeed, the war won't end. There's no future for us. I'm not ready to give up, are you? Not yet, but time is not our ally. 
We should hurry along. <laughs>